Over in South Africa, at least 74 people are reported dead after a massive fire at a building in Johannesburg. Our Lee Seung Jae has this story. A five-story building in central Johannesburg that was being used as informal housing caught fire Thursday, leading to the death of at least 74 people. According to local authorities, 12 of the dead are children. More than 50 others were injured in the massive blaze as the fire is believed to have started at around 1.30 a.m. local time when most of the residents were asleep. Responding to the news of the deadly fire, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa called it a great tragedy and said an investigation would help prevent a repeat of the incident. This incident calls on all of us from the emergency services and other entities of government to reach out to survivors, to help restore people's physical, psychological well-being and to offer all material help and assistance to the residents affected by this. And I do hope that the investigations into the fire will enable communities and authorities to prevent a repeat of such a tragedy. The South African leader said in a press conference that the building used to be home to abused women and children before being taken over by cartels and becoming one of the many so-called hijacked buildings in the city of Johannesburg. Ramaphosa explained those living in the facility were often forced to pay rent to gangs. Many other properties near where the blaze occurred also have houses deemed unfit to live in as they lack running water, toilets or a legal electricity connection. South Africa has suffered a housing shortage for many years with an estimated 15,000 people estimated to be homeless in the city of Johannesburg alone. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.